Hello everyone, let's start a new video on Azure DevOps Spring Channel and now talk about on Spring 157 and uh, talk about Azure Pipelines and uh, let's talk about uh, service hooks for YAML Pipelines. I will show an uh, integration between Azure DevOps and Slack, okay? First of all, I have here my respective workspace connected to my Azure DevOps, okay? Second step here, I have my apps on Slack. I will create a new app here. I will uh, type a respective name and connect this app with my workspace. Okay. Here I have an example, uh, my app called pipelines. I will create, I will click on pipelines and to monitor and create webhooks. You, you click on incoming webhooks here and you click in and uh, on button to start webhooks here, okay? After that, you click on add new webhook to workspace. On this, on this step, you, we will create a new webhook and uh, join this webhook well, with a respective channel uh, into your workspace. On my example, I create a webhook and join this webhook on Azure Boards channel. Okay? I have my cancel here. I have my webhook URL here, and I will use this URL on service hooks into Azure DevOps. On Azure DevOps, I will create in, in settings of my project and I will click on service hook options. On this example, I will create this hook. I will uh, edit this hook. My ev event monitored is run stages waiting for approval. Here I configure my respective pipeline stage and environment. Okay. On next button, and here I will paste a respective webhook that I copy on Slack app. Okay, I will finish this integration, and here I have a respective YAML pipeline. And when I build my pipeline, I will wait a respective authorization on dev stage. Okay, and here I will put this event uh, into my Slack, okay? And I will click on Run Pipeline. I will run my respective YAML pipeline. And here I have a Build, Dev, and Production steps, okay? First, I will click on Build, and I will monitor a respective log. This app is a .NET Core build. I will restore my, my dependencies. I will build my app and publish our respective artifacts on Azure DevOps. Wait a moment, please. Here I have my respective steps. Uh, check out my code, .NET Restore dotnet core and dotnet core publish i will finish here one, one more seconds please okay perfect i have my respective version of this yaml pipeline and on slack i have a new message here and i have yeah respective pipeline, respective version link, and respective environment that I will approve. If I copy a respective URL and open a new browser and put on respective link, okay, I have my build and my stage the dev is waiting for approval. If I click here, okay, I can click on review and I can reject or approval 
my respective video in my pipeline. Okay, this is the video. See you. Bye bye.